West Midlands, well, a Teesside charity is aiming to create up to 200 apprenticeship posts for young people there. They're busy working with local authorities, including Redcar, Middlesbrough and Stockton councils. Money has been raised by ex-Teesside and current Teesside business people. Well, Tani Garland is a trustee of the Teesside Philanthropic Foundation. She joins us now from our Middlesbrough studio. A very good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Uh, just tell us a bit about your project and how it's going to help uh, people there. Well, the, the foundation has a number of purposes, one of which is to create jobs for young people who are really the furthest away from being employed at the moment. And those are the people, of course, who are, who've got that uh, double whammy, if you like, no job and no experience either. It's pretty difficult for them, isn't it, at the moment? Absolutely, and that has been one of the, obviously, main barriers for young people gaining employment. Um, we're working with local employment agencies and with private businesses to create opportunities that didn't otherwise exist. So this is new job creation, um, not taking jobs from one set of people to give to another. And how are you doing that? Because I think the, the figure we've just quoted is 200 apprenticeship posts in the region that you're talking to us from. How, how are you doing that? Because if it was that easy just to create 200 posts, I mean, people were doing it everywhere, wouldn't they? Well, yes, and I think people everywhere will be trying to do something similar, or I hope they are. Um, what we are doing is we're, we're, we've raised a lot of money. In the last 10 months, we've raised a quarter of a million pounds. Um, so we're co-funding apprenticeship schemes that currently exist and creating new ones specifically for jobless young people um, and we're also working with members of the foundation which are all private businesses to create jobs within those businesses as well so it's direct action to directly positively affect the landscape in which we operate and what are young people that you're in contact with saying to you because i think the figures now some 22.3 percent of them now looking for work i mean the numbers are huge do they feel motivated or what are they saying to you well, they, they do, they're motivated in the sense that I think the people that we're speaking to and, and working with are desperate to get jobs and some of these people are, are highly qualified and through no fault of their own, they just can't get that first step on the jobs ladder. Um, so it's not a lack of motivation, but clearly they, they recognise that their opportunities are lessened and, and few at the moment, um, but it isn't stopping a sense of aspiration and a determination amongst those young people to, to do the best they can for themselves and work with us to, 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 to take up those opportunities that are being found and provided to them. Okay, Tanya Garland, I good of you to take the time to speak to us. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much.